The European Organization for Nuclear Research CERN, has relaunched its cosmic gun, a huge hadron collider, sparking fears of an approaching revolution. Given the renewed optimism of particle physicists and the progress they made recently, it is now time to start the big game of figuring out what the cosmos is made of. Even before its restoration, the collider was revealing clues that the universe could be hiding something incredible. What caused the cosmos to form and what does it have to matter instead of antimatter? We invite you to investigate with us how researchers at CERN have achieved a groundbreaking discovery. When some physicists found the Higgs boson 10 years ago, it made news all over the world. A particle that has been searched for a long time and is responsible for the mass of the universe. But what's still not there? Optimist physicists say that almost everything is possible. When the Sun Collider was first turned on in 2010, the universe was up for grabs. The Higgs boson was the goal of the biggest and most powerful machine ever built. The standard model is based on this particle. It is a set of equations that explains everything scientists have been able to measure about the subatomic world. However, the standard model doesn't explain some of the most basic things about the universe, like where it came from, what it is made of, or even why the Higgs particle itself has mass. Scientists are hoping that new discoveries will help them figure out what dark matter is and answer other questions that are still open. We don't know a lot about dark matter. The fact that most of the matter in the universe is really invisible to us is a shocking discovery. However, because astronomers can find the gravitational signs of dark matter, they think it must exist. Dark matter is the invisible framework of the universe that holds galaxies and clusters of galaxies together. We don't know exactly what it is, but it is one of the most interesting scientific mysteries. When the Big Collider was turned on for the first time in 2010, physicists thought some answers might be found. However, other than Higgs, nothing else was found, and no new articles were found that could help explain what dark matter is made of. The standard model wasn't affected, though, because the Collider was shut down at the end of 2018 for major improvements and maintenance. The Collider will run until 2025, when it will be shut down for another two years so that other important changes can be made. This round of upgrades included changes to the huge detectors that sit at the four places where the proton beams hit each other and look at the debris from the collisions. Since July, those detectors have been put to the test. Squeezing the proton beams make it more likely that protons will collide at the crossing points, but it also makes it hard for detectors and computers to tell the difference between the different sprays of particles. In the meantime, different experiments have shown that the standard model might have some flaws and suggested a more thorough and depth review of the cosmos. Most of us in the cosmic stand don't know the names of the subatomic particles that behave in strange ways. Think about muon, a subatomic particle that got some attention last year. Muons are often called fat electrons because they have the same negative electric charge as electrons but are 207 times heavier. Nobody is sure how muons fit into the big picture. They are made when cosmic rays and collider particles hit each other. In just a few microseconds, they decay into a bunch of electrons and spectral neutrinos. 200 physicists at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory in Illinois found that a muon spinning in a magnetic field wobbled much faster than the standard model predicted. This discovery was made public last year. The value of a parameter called G2 that describes how the particle responds to a magnetic field at the 8 decimal place showed the difference between what was seen in experiments and what was expected from theory. Scientists think that the small but important difference was caused by the quantum whisper of particles that haven't been discovered yet, but that would briefly form around the muon and change its properties. If the particles turned out to be real, the standard model would finally be broken. The Higgs boson can be used as both a strong telescope and a very precise microscope to look at small parts of nature. It can get very high amounts of energy physics because it wants to lose energy and become more of a vacuum scientist, say that a vacuum is a false vacuum. The universe stays in this imaginary vacuum long enough for planets, stars, and galaxies to form because of the ups and downs of the Higgs field's energy potential. This fake vacuum, on the other hand, is inherently unstable and will get worse over time. Quantum energy fluctuations or the strange phenomenon of quantum tunneling may allow the fake vacuum to get through the energy barrier, letting it go over the hills and roll down the slope on the other side. 
When the fake vacuum broke apart, it would send out a wave moving at the speed of light that would destroy everything and leave a real vacuum in its place. No matter what happens, it won't be good for the whole universe, since the only thing stopping vacuum decay is the Higgs field. We should be thankful for the cosmos as it is now. So here's another attempt to figure out how the world works. The Hadron Collider needs these models to find physics that goes beyond the standard model. Even though it has a lot of good points, the standard model of particle physics is not the last word on the subject. For example, it doesn't fit cosmological models that explain how the universe began. But while they wait for more information from the Fermilab experiment, two groups of theorists are still trying to match up their ideas of what G2 should be. The muon, which one of the six kinds of quarks that make up heavier particles like protons and neutrons, is also strange. In this story, the bee quark is either the main character or the bad guy. The bee meson, which has two quarks, has these quarks. However, these quarks seem to go against the standard model because they are unstable and tend to break apart. Some rare decays of a bee quark may involve a daisy chain of events that lead to the creation of a new, lighter quark and a pair of light particles called leptons. The leptons could be electrons, muons, or both. According to the standard model, there is an equal chance that electrons and muons will be made during this process. The tau is a lepton that is a third heavier, but it breaks down too quickly to be seen. Dr. Patel and his team, on the other hand, have found more election pairs than muon pairs, which goes against the lepton universality principle. Like the magnetic anomaly of the muon, this one suggests that the reaction is being changed by a force particle that we don't know about. Dr. Patel says that a subatomic idea called a leptoquark is one of the most exciting things that could happen if these data hold up in the next collider run. If the particle is real, it might bridge the gap between protons and neutrons, which are made of quarks, and lighter leptons like electrons, muons, and neutrinos, which are made of leptons. There are six types of leptons and six types of quarks, which is very interesting. Dr. Patel said, We are going into this run with more hope that a revolution may be on the way. Fingers are crossed. The W boss in which carries the so-called weak force that causes radioactive decay is another strange particle in this group. In May, the CDF or Fermilab Collider Detector reported on a 10-year project to measure the mass of this particle. Based on the standard model and earlier mass measurements, the W Boston should weigh about 80 billion electron volts. This is the preferred measure of mass energy. The Higgs boson, on the other hand, weighs about the same as an iodine atom or 125 billion electron volts. But the WCDF measurement, which was the most accurate ever, was 80.433 billion, which was more than what was expected. The experimenter used the Seven Sigma method to figure out that there was only a 1 in 2 trillion chance that this difference was just a statistical fluke. There is a link between the mass of W Boston and the mass of other particles, like the Higgs. So if this latest difference stays, the standard model may have another flaw. With more information, the three odd things might all go away, as might the revolutionaries hope. However, all three point to unknown particles of forces that mess with what we know about physics, which is good news for people who are optimistic. So Kyle Cranmer, a physicist at the University of Wisconsin, who also works on other CERN projects, said that the LHC might find a new particle that could explain both a G2 and a W mass. The LHC will not tear the fabric of space and time, but it may help scientists unveil some of the mysteries of the universe. Scientists want to utilize a Large Hadron Collider to study the subtle interactions of Higgs particles and search for signs of the invisible dark matter that accounts for around 27% of the universe's matter that has never been directly observed. What do you think about this groundbreaking discovery? Let us know what you think about this discovery in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more, consider subscribing to our channel and click the notification bell so you can get updates from our videos. That's all for now and we'll see you in the next video.